Hello, everybody. It's time for another update to the PlayStation 3 collection. I'm at 705 games now. Um, added quite a few quality games to the collection in the last couple of weeks. And yeah, it's looking it's looking really good. I thought I was going a little slow now, but they just <laughs> keep on coming. Even the uh, the ones that are a little bit tricky to find seem to get a little bit cheaper now, which is nice. So by now you probably know the drill. <coughs> go up here and go through these new additions. Um, also. Uh, the lighting is probably a lot better now than in the previous videos because um, it's spring, the sun uh, stands higher and therefore the sun actually <laughs> reaches my window uh, and I get quite a bit of natural sunlight uh, if I want to. So that is really good. So you can actually see <laughs> these games, even the ones at the bottom. Shouldn't be a big of a problem. So let's go through these. First up Air Conflicts Pacific Areas. Um, there are two other Air Conflicts games that I'm still trying to get, but you know, not necessarily the easiest ones to find. Then Arcania, The Complete Tale. This was relatively cheap. Then the last two Armored Core games that I needed Armored Core 5. And Armored Core Verdict Day. So I have all four of the Armored Core games now. Then Azura's Wrath, another really, really cheap pickup. <coughs> and Bakugan Battle Brawlers, Defenders of the Core. Already had the first Bakugan game, so got both of them now. Okay, down here, <laughs> quite a few games, it's a little crampy. Uh, Bladestorm, The Hundred Years of War. I was hunting for this for quite a bit before I finally found a copy for cheap. Um, definitely not the easiest game to find, but luckily I have it now. This was another cheap one. Blast Blue Continuum Shift Extent. Another really nice pickup for me. Uh, Blazing Angels 2 Secret Missions of World War 2. Uh, another one of the two, uh, 2007 games. I'm actually missing only two of the uh, 2007 releases now. Um, Marvel Ultimate Alliance and uh, Ratatouille are the only two ones that I'm still missing from that. <coughs> Over here, Castlevania Lords of Shadow 2. Still have to play the first one. Um, Command and Conquer Red Alert 3 Ultimate Edition. Then, <laughs> this was a really cool one. Uh, this wasn't cheap, this cost me a tenner, but um, considering that this game isn't very easy to to find. It's uh, an early, like you see on the bottom right there, an early Nis America release for the PS3. Um, yeah, I, I got a good deal on it, and I just wanted to have this one out of the way because also in the wild I never really see it. Dead or Alive Five was another very cheap one. Uh, so was this, Devil May Cry HD collection. Um, getting pretty close to having all the uh, HD collections now. Only missing like three or so. Uh, Doom 3 a BFG edition, it's a little bit hard to see it because of the glare. Uh, this one's still sealed. Uh, when I bought it I didn't know uh, <laughs> it would come sealed, but it did. I want to play it, I'm gonna open it like always. Alright, down here uh, Dragon's Dogma. This is like three euros, this is a very cheap game now. Uh, 
Dynasty Warriors Gundam 2. Finally, the well, well, it's the, the second to last uh, Gundam game. Uh, obviously, there was Gundam Reborn, released in 2014, which is still pretty expensive. Uh, Earth Defense Force Insect Armageddon. This was a pretty cheap eBay find. I got this for like two euros plus shipping, which was really cool. This was another very awesome one. Uh, Folklore, very early released RPG. <coughs> another early release, Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. Still missing all the other Harry Potter games. Um, unexpected cheap find. <laughs> Uh, Invisibles, uh, I think the English title is The Lost Kingdom. Um, well, <laughs> not a game I'm too excited for, but <laughs> gotta get them all. Uh, Lollipop Chainsaw, this is another fairly cheap pickup. Uh, this one was not. Oh! Uh, now that I remember, it actually was. <laughs> this is. Uh, a lot cheaper than I expected. Um, very unexpected eBay pickup for I think this was uh, three euros plus shipping, which is a lot cheaper than what it usually goes for. Um, this is Madagascar 2, of course, uh, from 2008. Then another Marvel game, Marvel Superhero Squad: The Infinity Gauntlet, and then. Mass Effect 3 with the female Shepard on the front. <coughs> okay, going down here. Uh, Naruto Shippuden Ultimate Ninja Storm uh, 2. It's a little bit hard to see, but it's 2. And at the same time, I also got uh, Naruto Shippuden Ultimate Ninja Storm Generations. Um, of course, there are loads more of the Naruto games, like with the Dragon Ball games, there are just so many of them. <coughs> okay, coming down here, some more pretty cool ones. Uh, Order Up, this was a uh, budget release. Um, another really cheap one that I got on eBay, which was really, really cool. Here we have, this is The Godfather 2, of course the German title starts with the P, so it's under the piece. Um, payday 2. Had to pay a little bit for this, but you know, just this is just one of the games that I never see, so might as well get it now. Prison Break, The Conspiracy. Not much to say about that. Uh, I also don't have much to say about this one. Pro Evolution Soccer 2013. Okay. Coming over here. Got Resident Evil 6. All the Resident Evil games are fairly cheap now. Except for like uh, Revelations, and of course Revelations 2, which just came out. <coughs> Okay, got Resonance of Fate, Sega RPG, very happy to find that. Um, this was really cheap because it didn't came with the uh, like guitar cable, so this was like 3 euros. A uh, Rocksmith. Now, <laughs> this one, this was a really unexpected find. Uh, I found this in a game store, uh, which is really odd since uh, it wasn't released in Germany, so I did have to pay a little bit for this, but I think even in the UK this is not like the cheapest game. Um, especially for a sports game, it's not cheap. Uh, that's Rug Rugby League Live 2. There's still tons of more rugby games out there that I need to find. Uh, this was not a really cool pickup. Sensei Brave Soldiers. Um, I think this is like a beat em up game. Fighting him. This is sealed also. 
Then, SPK 2011 completes my SPK set, which is really nice. I always like to complete like subsets like that, even if it's even if it's just like SPK, but it's really cool. Now, <laughs> added two more SingStar games to the collection. Uh, the first one, like that's just titled SingStar, and SingStar Football Hits. This was actually a gift because I borrowed. No, no, I, I lent someone one of my games, and he, when he sent it back, he sent this one with it. So this one was free, which is always cool. And, of course, with the SingStar games, there are so many of them. I'm, I'm happy to get any of them, really, because they're not cheap, and, yeah, there's still lots to go. As you can see, I'm, I'm only at 7, <laughs> and there are, like, over 40. <coughs> And Sniper Ghost Warrior 2. This is the not so limited limited edition. Another early one, Spider Man 3. I was trying to get the collector's edition, but you know. Star Trek. This is also a really cheap game now. Supremacy MMA. Now, this is another really unexpected one. This is Tales of Symphonia Chronicles. And this is still, like, sealed. Um, I got this at a retail store for, like, $9.99. Uh, a lot cheaper than I expected it to be. I thought it was still $19.99, but they had it at $9.99, and they had, like, 10 of them. So, you know, this, this game probably won't get any cheaper, especially sealed, so... Uh, I just picked it up. Um, and now I don't have to worry about it. Um, this one... Uh, this one was just released. And normally I don't buy games that just got released because they're so expensive and I don't like spending tons of money on, on a game. Um, but when I saw this one in the store, at that point I wasn't even sure that this game was released on disc. Uh, because it was, like, delayed, there was very little information about it, about the disc release, and when I saw this, I, I wasn't, I wasn't sure what to think, and I thought, if I, if I wouldn't pick it up, I might regret it, and so, so I picked it up, and <laughs> it turns out it's not, like, too hard to find, or, or something, you can buy it pretty much anywhere still, um, oh well. Uh, it's, it's a little bit of a waste, to be honest, because I know I could have gotten it for a lot cheaper, but the the positive thing is I don't have to think about it now and keep it in the back of my mind, because this might be hard to find in the future. Who knows? Who knows, really? Um, now this one. <laughs> Tiger Woods PGA Tour 12. This was like... This was a huge pain to find for a good price for some reason. I have no idea why. Okay. Coming down here. Oh, this is another really cool one. Top Gun Hardlock. Now, this is really hard to get for some reason. I don't know why, but it is. Um, I think I paid like 10 for this one as well. No. Again, not a game I'm gonna p play probably, but uh, <laughs> it's again, it's you, you just never see it, and therefore it's cool to have. Uh, Troll Pursuit and coming up here to the new shelf. Well, it's not so new anymore, but you know, uh, we got. Valkyria Chronicles. This was a really cool one. I got this one like shortly after the last update video. Then uh, World Championship Off-Road Racing.
XCOM, Enemy Within. And finally, uh, I'm running out of room, so I had, had to put this one up here. Uh, Zone of the Enders HD Collection. Um, as you can see, the uh, shelf is like filling up now. Uh, down here is my Mega Rev uh, Collection. I have to move that like somewhere, or the like NES cards I have down there uh, to make more room for the PS3 stuff. Also, made made like a shelf free for my variants. I have like <laughs> a fairly decent collection of variants going now. That um, is growing, and I'll probably make a separate video about those at some point. Uh, but to finish the video, we go to the NTSC ex ex <laughs> exclusives. Uh, got really cool in here. Deadliest Catch, Sea of Chaos. Uh, this was another unexpected find. This was uh, from an online store. I got this one for like 8 euros or so. Uh, which isn't too bad. And I always like uh, adding the NTSC exclusive ones. And another baseball game. MLB 12, the show. And that's it for the NTS exclusives. <laughs> uh, not too many, uh, like, easier ones uh, left. Uh, of course, a lot of the ones I already have are sports games. And I actually added one <laughs> one Japanese game. Uh, this one just arrived, like, a couple days ago. Uh, Robotics Notes. Um, yeah, no, not I'm not too big of a, of a Japanese guy, uh, but if I can can find the Japanese exclusives uh, for really cheap. You know, why not? <laughs> so, yeah. That's the update. 705 games. And I'll see you all when I hit the 750. So until then, take care. Bye.